Hey everyone. So in the last video, um, I showed how you can add um, intelligent type ahead suggestions for your custom copilot. Um, so in that solution, uh, we were loading all these suggestions that are relevant to your copilot upfront uh, and then using them based on what user was asking. So the limitation to this approach is um, since you are preloading set of suggestions, um, you have to anticipate what your end users might ask um, from your copilot. Uh, in order to address this uh, limitation, uh, in today's video, I will show you a version two of that same solution where we are dynamically getting suggestions in real time based on each question that user is asking. Uh, so in this scenario, you don't have to preload suggestions and based on what user is asking, we'll get relevant um, suggestions um, to answer that specific question. Also, I'll put a link to my previous video in case you have not watched that one, just so that you get a understanding of how the solution works. So with that, I'll show you a quick demo and then I'll also show you the code I have um, and what changes you need to make uh, to get this working with your uh, custom copilot. So let's look at the demo first. So here I have um, my custom canvas. Um, and what I'll do is I'll start asking questions like, can you help me create a two-day itinerary uh, for my Paris trip? So here I'm asking my co-pilot uh, to create a uh, two-day itinerary for my uh, Paris trip. And I'm using the uh, generative answers feature uh, in order to uh, get a response from my co-pilot. So here you can see uh, my co-pilot is able to get me a itinerary uh, based on the question I asked. Um, and now what I can do is I can press forward slash and see additional suggestions that are relevant to the question I asked. So now, because I was asking about my trip to Paris, I have all these other suggestions that my co-pilot has um, offered. So in this case, I can say, uh, what are top attractions to visit in Paris? And now I'll ask this question. So here you can see it has given me a, a response. Um, and now if I press forward slash again, you can see uh, I get different set, set of uh, suggestions. So I can say best cafes in Paris, And now you can see I have list of best cafes that I can visit during my trip to Paris. And if I fast forward slash again, I get other options that are related to uh, cafes in uh, Paris. And to show you that this is working real time, I'm going to change the topic of my uh, interaction. And I can say, uh, how do I make how do I make pasta? So now I've completely changed the topic from uh, my trip to Paris and now I, uh, to, you know, how do I make pasta? And now you can see it will get me a response. And so here you can see now it's giving me steps on how to make um, pasta. And now if I press the forward slash, you can see the suggestions that I I'm seeing are related to uh, pasta. So I can say, okay, let, get me essential ingredients for pasta making. And once it gets the response, it will show me different set of uh, suggestions. So you can see here, it's 
giving me a response and telling me how to make fresh pasta from scratch. Um, and now you can see there are different other suggestions that uh, I, ha I have uh, that I can use as well. So with this uh, version two, you can see I'm able to get suggestions that are relevant to question that user is asking, and this is happening in real time. So now I'll quickly show a show the uh, code so that you can also use it with your custom copilot. So this is the uh, custom canvas I have, uh, and I can share this if you're interested. Um, the only thing that we need to change here is uh, you need to put your direct line URL uh, that's going to be unique uh, to your copilot. So on line 131, you can see I have um, your uh, direct line token URL. And then the second thing we need for the solution is a REST endpoint that will return different suggestions. So in my case, um, I have a, a REST endpoint that's using uh, a Gen AI model that gives me the, those lists of suggestions. Uh, you can use any REST endpoint. It doesn't have to be a Gen AI model endpoint. You can use your analytics engine endpoint, or you can create endpoints that's based on different set of questions that are relevant to your uh, co uh, relevant to your copilot. So as long as you have you have a REST endpoint that returns an array of suggestions um, in this format, uh, you can um, use this solution. So. If you guys are interested, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to share this uh, with you uh, using my GitHub link. Thanks for watching and uh, do share any ideas that you might have. Uh, and if you want to see any uh, different video created on based on your ideas. Thanks for watching.